Yeah, boss of YouTube, Elmas here, got for you guys today a uh, showdown live, and man, guys, um, I'm gonna take a quick minute just to talk, just hear me out if you would, please. Uh, the past, uh, if you guys haven't noticed, like the past week, I kind of just slowed down on the uploads. Um, the showdown lives I recently uploaded, I think, were already kind of pre-recorded. Like, I know the stable lives were pre-recorded. Also, I kind of want to make that into, like, a series with, like, my friends. Uh, not exactly. Well, I don't really... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think of something, but I kind of want to turn that into, like, a little series. Like, give it its own name and all that. Maybe, like, its own thumbnail. I'll get my boy Pedro to make it, but I don't know. Um, anyways, just <laughs> lately things have been pretty just... Uh, life, man. What can I say? Life. Like, if you could see my face right now, you would see that I'm, uh, I'm pretty stressed. <laughs> Not gonna lie. But, yeah, just uh, kind of showing you guys the team, just to, uh, just to kind of, like, I don't know, maybe have a battle in the background while I talk for a bit. Uh, but, yeah, I want to say a thank you to everybody for, like, the crazy amazing support on my last live, uh, my single live, I think, which was Yu Yu with Hoopa. I think we got over, like, 100 likes on that, which was awesome thank you everybody for the support um of course if you do enjoy this then uh show off your support leave a like down below i kind of want to do something to get you guys commenting more but i don't really like doing like a question of the day thing and just i don't know if you guys have any suggestions let me know because i do i do really enjoy reading your guys comments uh this is not my team i got this off of the sample team thread it just it looked really fun um i almost made chandelure specs but i was like yeah i can use spec chandelure whenever i want this this team is based with this set uh also i gotta yeah somebody said i should say gl have fun a little bit more often but yeah i don't really know why i'm on the ladder if i get wrecked i get wrecked i'm just i'm just kind of just really relaxed right now enjoying the bit of silence in my house um i think it's gonna lead dom fan or arcanine uh i kind of want to lead gator i'm gonna lead gator uh, it's not at all the lead I was expecting. Well then, that's, that's kind of a problem. Uh, I, w I would like to assume I eat any one hit, but this team doesn't have Ice Punch for... Uh, because Porygon 2 is an issue, which it is, unless you get up two layers of T-Spikes. Uh, I'm probably just going to switch right into my Florgus. I do kind of expect him to predict that, but I mean, he really has no reason to not just Hurricane. But he Dracos! Because, yeah, also, we're Calm Mind, which is really cool. Because as soon as we get rid of this Arcanine, we should actually just win with Calm Mind Forgus. Uh, I really expect him to switch into his Arcanine, potentially. This was Flame Body, but I made it Flash Fire because uh, Flare Blitzes kind of suck. <laughs> and that's really it. I uh, really don't want to switch into Dracology. I'm just going to Moonblast to be safe. I'm just going to Moonblast to be safe. Yeah, okay, that was really, really obvious, but... I don't know. Ugh. I mean, it does a decent amount. Like, I'm not upset with that damage at all. Uh, the thing is, though, like, he definitely has will. So he's defensive. He's defensive for one. So he has Will O Wisp, Morning Sun, Flare Blitz, maybe Toxic. I don't think he would outright just go for Toxic. I do kind of expect him to want to pull a double switch, though. So what I'm gonna do is actually Calm Mind here, as I do predict correctly, cause I'm awesome. And I get up the Calm Mind. So now I can just Moonblast. Um, also running, uh, I put some Speed Creep on on this, Obama Snow, and I fixed Chandelure. This is really all the speed you need for Chandelure, I am on, unless you want to uh, try and win Speed Ties. Well, actually, well, now that I look at it. Actually, no. Yeah, because Adam and Gator. Okay, my bad. I didn't even notice that until now. But yeah, this is what you really need. I mean, I guess the 16 don't really do anything, but I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just... This is what I like, okay? I like this. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Alright, so he's gonna switch into the Neuvern as it just dies. It just it just dropped. Uh, my assumption is that he was predicting me to Calm Mind, then he would bring in Neuvern and he would trick me his most likely specs. Which again, if he was specs, then he really should have just gone for Hurricane Turn 1, unless he didn't want to miss, which... I don't know, I still would have risked it if I was him. Um, anyways, he's gonna bring this in. I'm thinking maybe he has Roar? No, he's just faster than me. Uh, unfortunately, we do get a crit. I don't really want this burn on me because 
I'm gonna need to uh, try and calm mine again later in this game. Which again, unless he's running speed creep on his floor, I guess he shouldn't be able to beat me. Oh, my mouth is dry. I'm gonna have a drink, so it's good. But yeah, he does just go for the morning sun. He has shown no other move besides fire type moves, so yeah, I'm not really too concerned. And honestly, this is just a free substitute. Like, I really, I don't know why it's not, but I could will o -Wisp, but I mean, it's still just safer to get up a sub. Yeah, because now what I can do is willow this and just residual damage is what will eventually work down. As he is actually slower than me. Now the fact, okay, this is what I think is really cool and people have suggested I should try like willow Wisp heck something. Um, the fact that he's now status, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but doesn't this become like base 150 now and then like with stab? Oh my lord, that is so much damage. Hold on, I'm actually... Like, I highly doubt this will kill, but I think it's just, I think it's worth the interesting, interesting calc, sorry. Um, you, you, Kritra. Chandelure was also originally timid, but I just, I like modest. That's just my preference. Uh, I'm leftovers. I never like to look up until I finish putting everything in that I have to put in. Status. Oh, oh my lord! I don't know what that was. Uh, yeah, this should knock this- No! Oh, yes, the choke! The choke! Oh, okay. Ah, it's too easy, boys! No, I should've- oh, I should've set up a sub! <laughs> oh my lord, that was awesome. <laughs> Uh, but yeah. Alright, so we got our next match. I feel like I'm gonna get destroyed. No, not really. I mean, I have faith. I can't believe, though, that that still did so much damage. Hold up. It did 75%. That's pretty impressive, which means he was running some bulk. Yeah, because, like, Shadow Molly does 55 to 65. And I don't know. I think that, that's impressive to me. It's impressive to me. Anyways, anyways. Um... I don't really see Fortress doing anything in this match. That almost makes me want to leave with it, but I mean, I can spin on Chestnut, uh, Milotic, until it burns me. Uh, well, I mean, Manchow, I guess. I pretty much win with Florgus. Yeah, I just call mine once and win with Florgus. But I'm not going to leave with that, because I think it's a little too obvious. I'm expecting him to want to lead Azelf, potentially. Holy crap, dude. Azelf, like, it just eats my team. Okay, yeah, I'm going to just leave Fortress, I think. I mean, does it really- well, no, if he gets rocks and spikes up, that would be a bit of an issue, but, like, again, if I get rid of, um, no, if I calm mine once, I should win. Uh, the only issue is Porygon Z having Trick? That would really suck. Or it, uh, critting me or something, or freezing me even, no, my luck, it would happen. But yeah, I'm gonna just leave Fortress, as he leads Gudra. I mean, Fire Blast is really obvious. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I think I'm gonna switch in the Chandelure. That way, if he does predict my Florgus and Sludge Bomb, it's fine. Yeah, okay, so that's good. Now, I think I just get up a free sub here. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that Gudra don't run max speed, and if he does Draco, he'll be at minus two. But it turns out to have the Earthquake, which means I'm going to go ahead and Will Wisp him here. Uh, this still is going to hurt a bit, but I mean, being able to status this and just wear it down means the rest of my team can beat it a lot easier. As that still did a lot of damage. I kind of wish I had Pain Split here. I was almost contemplating putting Pain Split over Will Wisp and just making it life form, but I guess where Will Wisp actually kind of does come in handy. Um, I just switched into Florgus here. Ye yeah, that, that was... Yeah, okay, sorry. Uh... What does he switch in? Milotic, I guess. Uh, I mean, okay, that, that yeah, that's not even a problem. In my opinion, you should definitely have Sludge Bomb over Sludge Wave on Gudra, though. The extra 5% literally does not matter if you are able to poison the Florgus. What I'm trying to say is, I would, I suggest running 
Sludge Bomb over Sludge Wave on Gujo just for the 30% poison because it'll add up to more damage than what the 95 than the extra 5% from Sludge Wave. Sorry, I'm kind of bad at explaining things. But yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Like it's it's better for you to actually try to get that poison than I don't know. I st you know what? Just do do you guys. You do you. <laughs> I'm a little worried this actually... I know I should have put some special attack EVs. I should have. I'm a little worried this has trick, but... I mean, at plus one, I still do so much damage to his team. Yeah, I think I would almost risk it. Okay, so thankfully he does not have the trick. I almost switched out. Almost switched out into my fortress there. Good thing I did not. He's gonna bring the Manchow. I feel like he definitely has the, um... The poison jab. Hold on. I'm pretty sure he's scarfed. That's it. Yeah, I say he's scarfed. Forgus, uh, old poison jab. Uh, poison jab. Sorry. Poison jab should have knocked me out. Okay, life or poison jab may knock me out. Because why would it not be that, right? Worst case scenario. The one time I don't count worst case scenario, and it's the worst case scenario set. <laughs> so, so lucky. Uh, but no, yeah, I'm not even running max defense, max HP. So yeah, he'll definitely knock me out. I should put this to zero. Uh, but yeah, anyways. Um... Yeah, I don't. Yeah, he's definitely just poison jabbing. I can switch. I could switch into my, into my, uh, into this. Sorry, and just get up a T spike. I think. No, I wanted to stay in. <laughs> no. Oh no. I sh I was a. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. I almost. I almost stayed in. Almost stayed in. I was thinking U-turn too. I was thinking, okay, he's gonna U-turn. He's gonna U-turn. Actually, why would you do this? I still get on my free T-spike. Actually, yeah, I didn't even notice that at team preview. I was like, I just get up T-spikes. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that. My fault, my fault. No, but yeah, I should live any hit he goes for easily. Ah, uh, just give me my one spike. Actually, would it be better to get up two? Actually, two is probably a lot better for this uh, Milotic and Chestnut. So yeah, I would. I'll, I'm just gonna sack Dragology here. I can see why people don't really use Dragology much. Like yeah, adaptability is great, but in situations like this, like well, I mean, T spikes are actually nah. I mean, I like Gudra. I like using it, but I can see why it's not used a lot. Is what I'm trying to say. So luckily we live and we get no freeze, which is amazing. I'm gonna go ahead. Actually, no, he literally has no reason to not just go for Scald. He literally has no reason to not just go for Scald. But I can see why he would just Ice Beam to be safe. Yeah. Uh, it, would he be Specs? I don't think he's Specs. Uh... I think I need a Synthesis here. The reason why is because... If I'm not at full HP, I can't take a uh, sludge wave and calm mind, live another sludge wave in synthesis. So, yeah, he hasn't seen aromatherapy, so I can see why he would go for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm just gonna calm mind once and then go for aromatherapy. I think. Actually, no. I'm a aromatherapy person. Well. Eh. Yeah, okay, the reason why I wanted to aromatherapy was because I thought he would switch into Manchow. And I didn't want him to have the extra toxic damage wear me down to where fake out plus poison jab would knock me out. So yeah, I think that was yeah, yeah, I think that was the the, the best play. So he gets a free switch back into Gudra now because I am a plus one. I should definitely just beat this. Like it's nobody's business. And I'm gonna combine a plus two and a plus two, he will literally be doing nothing to me. And then I just slowly wear him down. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know why you would do that, but that just, it doesn't help you. I mean, 
Do I need plus three? I mean, at plus two, I'm pretty sure I just win. Yeah, I just won. I'm guessing... I don't. Yeah, I don't know why he would do that. No, no, no. Ah, I forgot fake out. I forgot about fake out. Okay, stupid thinking on my part. Stupid thinking on my part there. I was like, yeah, man, I win. I eat... I eat a Porygon Z try attack. I moonblast this, moonblast this twice, moonblast, moonblast, but I was like, crap, he does have fake out. Plus, I mean, his best. Well, yeah, because he can just bring in Manchild Poison Dead, but I mean. Yeah, okay, I shouldn't get too cocky. Yeah, I just. I was not thinking of all the factors there. So he brings in the Manchild. I mean, is it worth taking the fake out damage? Unfortunately, I don't have Flame Body, which kind of sucks. Uh, I would get a free switch into my into this, I guess. Um, and then I can get up rocks. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I know he's gonna go for he's gonna go for fake out or poison jab. There's no way he's gonna go for high jump kick. Yeah, that was that was obvious. And now I can just get up my rocks because I further wear down Porygon Z and my Lodic, I think, is what I need to do. So I can put him in range of my Obama Snow as well, because Obama Snow can win in the match too. Yeah, and I have to wear down a Chestnut a lot more. Plus, I have a Chandelure. Another reason he wouldn't high jump kick. Like, if he had high jump kick there, that would have been some next level prediction. That's all I'm trying to say. So yeah, U-turn is very obvious. I mean, he gets back all his HP, unfortunately, but hey. That's what happens. As he brings in Porygon Z, I'm, I want to say I can still eat any one hit. Like... I really don't need this anymore. Even if he gets up spikes, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Plus, I get off the net. Actually, I could just Volt Switch, I think. Hold on. Because I want to see how much damage Obama Snow's um, Ice Shirt will do. I also find it really annoying how they took off the Mega Sets on the damage calculator. It's really annoying. We'll just say Double Dance that has some HP. I sure does 30 to 53. So... I think it's just better to Gyro Ball here if I do live any hit. Yeah, which, of course, I'm going to take that. <laughs> uh, why? Why? I mean, it doesn't matter because he's going to be in range of Ice Shard, I guess, but that's so annoying. That's so annoying. And if I live the next hit, which I should, I'm just, I'd rather just Volt Switch here. And save Fortress for fodder, but he left. So it's been about 17, 18 minutes. I think we're going to get one more match. Because so far, we won two battles. Well, it's a kind of interesting team. And they both forfeited, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, of course, I can't sweep because of this monster with Aggron. It just, it just destroys Florgus. Uh, T-Spikes don't come in handy at all because Roserade. Gator could sweep. Gator could potentially sweep. Um, Obama Snow destroys him, actually. Holy crap. Yeah, I just have to wear his team down. Uh, Chandelure, he does have the Florgus, but I mean, I just sub up on Florgus, so it's not even a problem. Uh, leads, leads, leads. I think he's gonna... I want to say he's gonna lead Obama Snow. I mean, not Obama Snow, uh, Agron. Uh, is it worth leading this, though, is the question. Yeah, I like I have no good matchup against Agron, so I'm gonna just lead Chandelure. You lead with an why? 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 Yeah, it's not the same guy either. He did the same thing. He has Super Fang. Hello? I mean that's cool. You stayed in! You stayed in for some reason. <laughs> what is going on? What is what is this? I'm so I don't I don't know. I do, hello. And it lives. It just lives. I don't know what just happened, but I just Moving on. So he's gonna bring the Aggron. I mean, I just Rapid Spin. 
Or, I mean, you can do that too, I guess, but that's just kind of annoying. But I'm gonna get on my rocks here, because he has no way of getting rid of them, you know, unless I get paralyzed, which is really cool. Always like when that happens. Okay, sorry, I don't mean to be complaining. I don't mean to do that. Uh, but yeah, 42% is actually really, really good. As he ends up going for the Iron Head, getting off a decent chunk of damage. I'm gonna just switch back into this. I need- I would rather spin than allow him to have rocks. Okay, Jirachi, calm down. As we get the most important crit in the world, that- It's a crit, and it did 0%. You see this, right? Hold on, you, you guys see this. That's, uh... Hold on. Oh man, it's too long. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Maybe we got a solution. I got a solution to this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I am in the middle of a match. I know this. I remember this. But I'm gonna get on my rocks. Oh, are you kidding me? Again? Ah. <sighs> That's just frustrating at this point. It really is. But he's gonna fodder off Noivern. I mean, that's fine, I guess. I wanted a sub. I was like, ha! Ah. I should've subbed there. Should've subbed there. Oh, this will be posted later. Okay, sorry. I just, I kinda, I got distracted. I went off on a tangent. Um. What does this do? I mean, I know what it does in NU, but what does it do in UU? I highly doubt it does anything. I mean, why do I just Moonblast? Well, I mean, I guess Rosary would be a little bit annoying if you switched it in. Um, so I think I'm gonna double into my... into my algae. I DON'T UNDERSTAND THE LOGIC! What even is... <sighs> Thank you! Oh my... <laughs> uh, I don't, I don't, I don't understand. I just, I don't understand. Anyways, it's gonna bring in the Roserade. Cool! Awesome! It's not awesome at all, because I, I have nothing for this. Uh, well, I mean, Chandelure, I guess. I'm gonna just switch to my Fortress, actually, see what he wants to go for. As he ends up sludge bombing. Um, there's a chance he has a hidden power fire. So I think I'm gonna double here. No! Okay. Uh, his life orb, though. I don't... I don't eat... No, the, yeah, I don't live any hit, though. That's the thing. Uh, he has Shadow Ball. Do I lose? Um, this is actually kind of scary. Oh no, it just dies. Uh, but this thing... Well, I mean, I have Fortress. Yeah, this is why I didn't want to have... Um, rocks on my field, and I got paralyzed. Which really sucks. Yeah, okay, so... Terrible play on his part there. That was just another really bad play. Uh, yeah, he gets a free switch into this, but I mean, it doesn't matter. I just rapid spin. Like, please, can I, can I just please get my spin off? That's all I want. That's all I want. Thank you, thank you. Back into Obama Snow. Not at all what I wanted to see, but hey, the uh, hail is wearing down this aggron, which is really, really good. So I could have just earthquake there. I really didn't want to take a potential Iron Head. I'm just going to keep up the Rapid Spins because, again, I really don't want rocks on my side of the field. I really don't. It's it's literally doing zero. It's literally doing zero. 
Okay, can we not can we not do this again, please? Please? Thank you, Fortress. Okay, at this point, I'm about to just Volt Switch into my Gator, because this is kind of getting annoying. Yeah. Oh, please, let me get paralyzed. Actually, no, if I got paralyzed... <laughs> I was going to say, if I get paralyzed, that's actually kind of good, because... Um... I stay in and I just Gyro Ball. I, I need to see how much damage Ice Shard does. Paxorus, you, you, Dragon Dance. Okay, so I need to get off more damage. <laughs> I need to get off more damage. Uh, honestly, I don't think I need Gator. I really don't need Gator. Oh, wait, do I? Well... If he outrages here, that's good. Uh, but no, he tries to sack off Agron there, as I could have just stayed in Waterfold. I was gonna superpower, if anything. Oh, just crunch do more. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I doubt Ice Shard knocks him out anyways. I mean, if I can just get off a spin here, I'm good. So because I'm slower than him, as long as I don't get paralyzed, I get the spin off. And we just Gyro Ball here because I haven't shown him. But I mean, it's kind of logical that these normally have Gyro Ball. Uh, but yeah, he shouldn't be able to Oko me. Even though I just... Please? Please. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't matter because... I've already brought him into Ice Shard range anyways, yeah. Hale brought him into Ice Shard range, so even if he knocked me out, I still won the game at that point. Yeah, it's it's game. Uh, Florgus can't beat Gator and Obama Snow. As Volt Switch is able to knock him out. I think that uh, Gator... Um, Gator will beat his Florgus faster than my Florgus beats his Florgus. Because he could be Calm Mind too, and then things could just go downhill this way. If I bring him Gator, I just pressure him right away. So it doesn't really matter, and then I just finish him off with the Bomb Snow. So it's all good. At this point, uh, the match is pretty much over, and luckily this guy did not run, like, uh, just a few turns into the game. But yeah, guys, uh, I don't know what he's doing. He's taking his dandy old time. But let's take a quick look at the team. Uh, Florgus and Lumiere over here did some pretty good work early game. I was kind of disappointed by Dragology. I mean, I, like I said, like I really like Dragology. I think it's a pretty fun Pokemon to use, but I can see why people don't use it. It's just, yeah. If you get the nickname reference, then, uh, then you're awesome. And then Fortress put the team on his back. Gator was Gator, and yeah, that's all that this wrote, but yeah, guys, you know the outcome of this, so if you enjoyed, make sure to uh, leave a like, and with that being said, I will see you all uh, eventually, because, like I said, just, oh, life, life, man, but yeah, thank you all for watching, later, guys.